All right, what up? What up, people? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, uh, in today's show, we're going to be talking about how accepting female nature makes the game easier for you. Okay? Accepting female nature makes the game easier for you guys. Okay? So, a lot of guys, um, they get frustrated dealing with women. And basically what I'm saying is when you accept female nature, shit is going to be easy, easier for you because it gives you a way to navigate through the, the shit. What up? JF00170, Ellie George, Video King, Tim G was popping. Before we get into all of that, remember guys, what up? Mike Sato was popping. James Britton, For Life Went Deep was good. Whiskey to Dawn. So remember guys. Get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. If you do not have this book, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure uh, you get this. Yeah, Mike, I'm going to have people calling in, in a little while. You feel me? But um, make sure you guys get the, this book. Go to MrLocario.com um, to get your copy. This also comes with two bonus audio programs for free. One is called the Conversation Booster. One is called the Confidence Booster. So make sure you guys get that. You feel what I'm saying? Also, uh, make sure you guys join the Bad Boy membership. Video King, you said write another book. Yeah, actually, I'm writing two books right now at the same time. I'm writing two new books that's coming out um, that I'm, I'm I'm working on right now. So you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be some real shit. Um, but also, make sure you guys join the Bad Boy membership. Because uh, in a few days, I'm going to be dropping the new joint, and the new joint is called Same Day Lay, okay? And so basically, I'm going to be teaching you how to, uh, you know, basically have sex with women on the same day you meet them, okay? So I, I tell you step by step how to do it. So if you meet a chick in the daytime, at nighttime, if you, uh, you know, meet a chick online, you feel what I'm saying? So that's going to be dropping basically this Wednesday or Thursday. So either, you know, October 31st or November 1st. So make sure you guys join the Bad Boy membership so you can listen to that program plus all the other programs on there. Because remember, when you, when you join the membership, you get all the programs all at once. So there's like, I think at this point, over like 50 programs on there right now. You understand? So, so basically, you guys need to get up on that. All right, but um, but yeah, let me. T I want to talk about real quick how accepting female nature is going to make the game easier for you. Mike, you said there's more than fifty. Yeah, I think there is. I'm sure there is. I remember the last time I counted, there was like fifty, but I'm sure there's more than fifty programs on a bad boy membership. So you guys, I'm telling you, need to get on that shit. It's it's crazy because I break this shit down. Have you said 62? Damn, you counted? I, I didn't even know there's 62 on that shit. That's what's up. So there's 62 programs. According to Mike, there's 62 programs on the membership. See, I should I should know that shit. I put the shit out, but I don't even be counting them like that. But there's 62 joints on there. So make sure you guys go into Bad Boy membership. Um, so basically what I want to talk about real quick is how accepting female nature is gonna make the game easier for you. So what happens is what a lot of do what a lot of guys do is they get sort of like um frustrated dealing with women. Period. They're just like, you know, chicks do this or chicks do that or chicks act this way or they're emotional or they're, you know, hypergamous or, you know, they just want guys for looks or the money or whatever the, whatever you think it is, right? Now, women are going to do all of these different things. But what happens is is that if you understand that women are a certain way, right? That makes the game easier for you because now you know what you're dealing with. See, instead of getting upset or frustrated, what up, Joe Blast is popping. Instead of getting frustrated or, or upset or pissed off that women will do certain things, what you need to see is say, and what you need to do is say, okay, wow, I noticed that women do certain things. So because I know they do certain things, how am I, 
going to maneuver and do what I need to do to get what I want to get in the situation to make stuff happen. See, what most guys do is that they have the pump and dump mentality, which, you know, is it's, you know, in certain situations, I get it, but that's you're you're missing out on a whole a whole bunch of other shit when you just pump and dump. You feel what I'm saying? Because the whole mentality is, well, these bitches ain't shit, so I'm gonna just fuck them and then keep them moving. Because what else they got from me except for the pussy? You see what I'm saying? So that's more of a, a lower level mentality when it comes to the game. Now again, there are some women who you are going to have to pump and dump maybe because she's not really up to par like she got some other bullshit going on with her whatever so you're like eh. and even in those situations sometimes those girls aren't even worth pumping if you, if you want to keep it real so when i run into chicks like that sometimes i don't even bother but what you got to understand is is that if you understand uh female nature right you are going to basically know that okay well I can benefit from this. So I'm going to tell you a, a few things, right? So the thing is this, you know, a lot of guys talk about, um, what is it like hypergamy or hypergamy? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hypergamy, hypergamy, you know, it's the same thing. So basically that's the thing of, well, women are always going to try to level up. They're always going to try to move on to the next best thing and all this other stuff, right? See, the way women are is this, is that women generally are going to want to be around or deal with the best situation uh, for themselves. So when dudes talk about like hypergamy or hypergamy, or whatever, you know, a lot of times they're looking at it as, oh, well, the girl that you're with, if she finds a guy tomorrow with a whole bunch of, uh, uh, you know, with more money, she's just going to dump you and get with him. You feel what I'm saying? Or if a woman finds a guy that is better looking than you tomorrow, she's going to dump you today and get with him tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? Now, that's a, a more sort of like simplistic way of looking at it, right? But what you got to understand is, is that women are just loyal to the best situation they can find themselves in, right? But also, too, you have to understand that women are going to um, generally go with or deal with who they're most attached to. So basically, the, the thing is this. Because if a girl's with you, let's say you have a girlfriend and she's she loves you or whatever, right? Um, and let's say she she is at a party one night and she meets a guy that she uh, is physically attracted to. She thinks that you're she thinks this guy is a good looking guy. He's smooth and all this other stuff, right? Your girl may want to fuck him, right? But she <laughs> she's most likely not going to automatically leave you for that guy. You understand what I'm saying? Because she has that emotional attachment to you, right? Now, what happens is this, though, is if you're a guy who's not on point, then it may be easier for her to leave you and get with him. You understand that? So what happens is, is that the reason why a lot of guys um, will lose the girl they're with to another guy is not necessarily because the other guy had more shit popping off. It's more so because that dude, the, the guy who had the girlfriend in the first place, wasn't on point with his shit. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times when you're on point with your stuff, with what you're doing, what's going to happen is even if a woman sees a guy who may have more money than you, may have, uh, you know, be better looking than you, whatever it is, because she's emotionally attached to you and you are already on point, right? She's going to stick with you. Because what happens is, is that even though she sees the guy who has more money or more looks or more status or more swag or whatever you think is the, is the issue, she still doesn't really know about him. So what that means is this. Let's say, for example, um, like I tell, let's say, for example, I tell you, you, let's say you have like a really nice car, you're making a hundred grand a year and you have a uh, you know a girl a girl that you fucking with and she's like a eight on a scale of one to ten right so you got a, a a cute girl nice car making a lot of money right now let's say to you let's say I say to you listen there's this there's something behind this door there's 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 a whole bunch of things behind this door 
right? Now, I'm telling you that it's a lot of good shit. It's a lot of fucking awesome stuff behind this door, right? But in order to get what's behind this door, you're going to have to give up everything you have here. So you got to give up your nice car, your hundred grand, uh, 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 you know, job, and this girl who's an eight who who loves you and, and fucks you and sucks you and does all this stuff, right? You got to give up all that for what's behind this door, right? But I'm and I'm I'm informing you that what's behind this door is something awesome. I'm not saying it's better. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm just saying it's awesome, right? What's what's gonna happen is is that you may be curious as to what's behind the door, but you're gonna think twice about giving up all the shit you have, right? Because all the shit you have, right, is something that you're you're sort of used to, and it's good, and you're attached to it. And what's behind the door, you don't really know. You understand what I'm saying? You're not sure. You feel what I'm saying? You're not sure what's behind the door. So, so the thing is, you're hesitant to give up the shit you got because you don't really know what's going to go on. Behind this door. So the same thing happens for women. A woman could be with you. If you're on point, right? She's going to want to stay because she's she already got a good thing going. The new guy, even though he looks nice and he looks like he would be a better option, she's not sure. So she's not willing to gamble what she has here to go behind what the fuck is this, what's behind this door. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all talking about you'll take what, what's in the box? You're going to take behind the door? <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. So now again, not all women are like this. Some women will go but what's behind the door. Some women will try to go with, with the other dude. But what I'm saying is generally, because the woman is uh, uh, you know, emotionally uh, attached to you and everything is on point, she'll most likely stay. But again, the key thing is everything is on point. Now imagine that same scenario. You got that car, but it's kind of br broken or whatever. You got that hundred grand job, but now it's not a hundred grand. They only giving you fifty grand, and then the girl that you was an eight kind of let herself go. Now, whatever's behind that door is going to seem more interesting, which is why they're gonna she's gonna you know go to that what's behind the door. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's that's what you got to understand. The more on point you are, the harder it's going to be for her to want to leave that situation. Even if something looks like it's more uh, of, a, of a thing. You understand what I'm saying? So, what up, female pimp? What's going on? So, I just, I just want y'all to sort of just, just understand that. And, and the key thing is, you have to be on point. See, the more on point you are, the more female nature is going to work in your favor. The less on point you are, then female nature is going to piss you the fuck off. This is why dudes who who doesn't have, who, whose game sucks or who's not really good with women or who's insecure, who, uh, you know, you're not confident, all these other things. That's what makes the game hard for you because what happens is women are looking for the best situation. You understand what I'm saying? The best situation they can find. So... You have to become the best situation. The more that you are that best situation, the easier the game is going to be for you. You say, can I explain more specific the way men's game suck? Can, can, uh, that's kind of vague. Okay, well, this is how your game sucks, right? One, your game sucks if you are looking for validation through women, meaning you're not confident within, your, within yourself from the jump where you're needed, you're looking for a uh, woman to make you feel like a man or you feel upset when women don't like you or whatever it is, right? Because what it is, is it has to start from you. It has to start from you feeling and believing and thinking you are that dude with or without a woman, right? Another thing that makes a guy game suck. And, and, it all, and the thing is that what makes his game suck stems from a lot of, from just that basis. So what happens is he'll do things like, for example, he will get with a girl and he'll call and text her and want to be all up under her too much, right? He'll, a, a guy's game sucks when he lies in order to get women because the lie is basically saying that he, uh, he isn't good enough to just get her through his own type of truth and merit. You feel what I'm saying? 
Um, a, a guy game sucks when he starts to do things for women instead of doing things for himself. You understand? So, for example, a guy who has tight game, what he's going to do is he's going to, uh, you know, approach a girl, holler at her, uh, you know, hit her up and, and, and hook up with her or take her somewhere he likes to go. A guy whose game sucks, what he's going to do is he's going to get a girl's number Holler at her. If she's not responding, he's going to call her two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And then let's say she finally talks to him. He's going to figure out or or try to do something for her, meaning he's going to figure out what she likes, the type of shit she wants to do, tries to find things that, uh, you know, places that she wants to go, take her to all those places, buy her flowers, roll out the red carpet, all that other stupid shit. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? Oh, we got my dude Trap Lord in the building. <laughs> he said, one thing's for, for sure, two things for certain. Ain't no woman going to look at you if you ugly with confidence. Okay, you can keep thinking that. You can keep thinking that. And this is, and, and you know what's funny about this statement? If you have confidence, you don't give a fuck if a chick's looking at you. You understand? Because if you got confidence, you're going to go, walk your ugly ass over to that girl and say, what's up? That's what you're going to do when you have confidence, right? Now, another thing guys got to got to understand is this. And and you know, and I want to stay on this point real quick about you being on point, right? Because um what happens is Hold on, wait. Costas, you still on this bullshit? Hold on. Let me let me let me address this real quick. You said you know when you said looks looks matter and don't matter are both correct. The problem is both statements cannot be correct because they are conflicting and the complete opposite. No, they are not, bro. Let me let me let me break this down again real quick so you guys understand this. Saying looks matter and saying looks don't matter are both correct. Again, and just like I said earlier, I, I use the same example again. If you have a degree in college, right, and you don't get a degree in college, right, and people are saying, well, can you make good money with a degree in college? Yes, you can. So you can say. Having a good degree in college matters to make good money. But guess what? You do not need a degree to make good money. You cannot have a degree and also make money. So to say having a degree doesn't matter is also right. Because in both situations, you can make good money. It's the same thing as, let's say, for example, if I say you're trying to travel somewhere, right? Let me tell you if, if if I say you travel somewhere. Let me I'm gonna break it down again in this one one other thing. If I say to you, or you say to me, hey, you need a car, right? In order to travel. Now that's that that's correct. You can say, I can travel with this car. And I could also say you do not need a car to travel. That is also correct. So I can say having a car matters when you want to travel and having a car doesn't matter when you want to travel. They're both correct. Why? Because I can travel in a train. I can travel on a bike. I can travel on a plane. There's other ways to travel. So I, it, I don't need to have a car to travel. So it doesn't matter that I have a car to travel, right? I could travel with a car. That's correct. But I don't need a car to travel. I could get girls because I look good, which is correct, but I don't need to look good to get the girl. Do you understand that? Costas, you don't you, you're not you're not you're not understanding what I'm talking about, bro. You're not understanding what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is this is that you don't need a car for transportation because there are other forms of of ways you can get around. So you don't need to be the best looking guy to get a girl because there's other ways to get a girl. You can go around all that and get a girl. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is real simple. It's real simple. It's real simple. Right? Now, back to what I was saying real quick about being on point, right? And when it goes to female nature. When you, when you're on point, when you're the guy that women look at and they say, damn, this guy, he's on point. When I say on point, what I mean is you're confident, you know how to talk to women, you're, you're actually doing something in your life, you got a purpose, um, 
you are the type of guy who just, he believes in himself. He's just, everything is just cool with this motherfucker, right? What happens is this, is that women um, will always come back to you. And so what I mean is this, female nature is this. A woman is never yours, meaning that women are going to go around and, and fuck with a whole bunch of different guys. Um, you know, even when you're in a monogamous relationship with a woman, she's still not yours because she could still uh, fuck with some other dude, leave you for some other guy. It is what it is. And, and a lot of this stuff you guys will do too, whatever, right? But you have to understand that a woman is never really yours. And when you understand that, right? You can work that to your advantage because, again, like I said earlier, women are looking for the best situation. So sometimes based off of how they feel, certain situations may be better for them at certain or at specific times. So if you're dating a girl, right? Let's say you're dating a girl that's not your girlfriend. You're just dating her. Y'all hooking up. Y'all chilling, whatever, right? She may stop calling you and stop seeing you because at this point she found something that she thought was a better situation, what usually happens, though, is that the better situation she thought was the better situation turns out to not be the better situation, right? And so what happens is she ends up being with some new guy, realize the new guy is a cornball, and then she wants to come back to you. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm saying here is this, because this one I want you guys to understand. Most of the girls that I fucked with that left me came right back. I'm going to say that again. Most of the girls that I fucked with that stopped fucking with me came right back to fuck with me. Why is that? Because what happened was, I'll give you an example. There was a girl I was dating, right? And so she was, we were, we were chilling. We was fucking around or whatever. And next thing you know, she started dating this other dude, right? And so she was like, oh, you know, this other guy, he wants to be in a relationship with me, in a monogamous relationship. He wants to be my boyfriend and I really like him. And I said, cool, go do you. Do you. I wish you the best. Right? Next thing you know, six or seven months later, I got a text from her. Hey, what's going on? How's it going? All this blah, 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 blah. You feel what I'm saying? She's like, you know, hey, you know, I, I want to see you and all this other stuff, right? Now, the reason why she wanted to do that was because she already knew that I was on point. But see, the problem with, with the situation with me was I was never trying to be monogamous with her. You feel what I'm saying? I was never trying to have her as my, oh, she, she was looking to get with a, a guy who was going to just be with her. And I was like, I'm not doing that, right? So... The thing is, is that she got with the dude. As time went on, she realized that that dude wasn't really, you know what I'm saying, on point. And then she wants to come back to the on point guy. But see, what makes me on point is this. And, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you guys something real talk that will help you the fuck out. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you some real talk that's going to help you the fuck out if you're trying to keep girls interested or keep girls wanting to fuck with you or uh, to keep girls around for the long haul or to keep girls coming back to you, right? And, and I've done this for years. All you need to do when you're dealing with chicks is be reliable and consistent. That's it. Be reliable and consistent. That is it. You understand? So what I mean by reliable is this. So for example, that with that girl when I was fucking with her, right? I was reliable because every time, you know, I said I was going to do something with her, I did it. Or every time I said I was going to do something, period, I did it. You understand? You said mysterious too. Yeah, well, that's that's another thing. That's another thing. But, but it's mainly reliable and consistent. I'm talking about what will make a girl, because this is the thing. Women are attracted to stability. You see what I'm saying? Because this is what guys this is what guys do. You see, see, you have guys who uh, will be on the alpha male shit, 
And they'll get a girl attracted to them. They'll fuck them. They'll stop talking to the girl, whatever, whatever. But what happens is when you're a guy who's reliable and consistent, what the girl sees is, is that she sees somebody who she feels is, um, you know, like she can depend on, basically. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be reliable and consistent. Now, this is the thing, though. This is the, the, the thing. Because you're reliable and consistent, and being consistent basically is, is that, you know, I'm consistently being the type of guy that I am. You understand? I'm not bending over for her. I'm not pretending to be some other shit. I'm not doing other things to try to make her like me. No, this is how I am, and this is how I'm going to be, right? Consistently, period, right? So what happens is, is that the girl recognizes, oh, shit, I can actually depend on this guy. Like, if he says something's going to happen, it's going to happen. If he wants to do something, and which is why in the first place she wanted to, like, be with me on some boyfriend girlfriend shit and i was like no i'm not really doing that type of shit because that's the, those are the type of guys who women want to be with with for a long-term relationship but you have to make sure that you are not going into that beta male type of energy when it comes to dealing with with women too because you being reliable and consistent women can mistake that as a beta dude you see what i'm saying so you still have to again be on point with yourself. This is what I was saying earlier. Uh, you know, and I said this before, it's about you. It's about you understanding what you're about, what you want, you being on point with your own shit, right? And you be reliable and consistent because when you are, that's when women look at you as that rock. Like I'm talking about this before. I said, women are like the weather. Men are like the mountains. The mountains don't move. The mountains are reliable and they're going to always be there. You feel what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that when she went, when she left me, she realized that she's fucking with other dudes who aren't reliable and consistent because most guys aren't reliable and consistent. So what happens is she wants to always come back to the reliability and the consistency. But this is the key. This is the kicker. What she's experiencing through my consistency and me being reliable is always based on my rules you feel what i'm saying you understand it's based on how i want to do shit just like I, when she was trying to like get with me and be on some oh i, I want to just be with you like she was basically telling me get rid of all my other girls i was like fuck out of here this is what it is if you want to deal with me this is what it is but but what's happening is she's seeing how reliable I am and consistent I am with who the fuck I am. Which is why she wants to come back. Because she she craves that stability. You understand? You said, why do women assume reliability and consistency are beta when they are attracted to it? It's because most dudes who end up doing that are beta. You understand what I'm saying? Because they'll be reliable and consistent on her terms. You understand? You got to be reliable and consistent on your terms. You understand? So that's what that's what it is. Another thing too that you got to understand is that when it comes to female nature is women will go off of their emotions. So... Truthfully, what happens is this, is that a lot of dudes, they get into their feelings and um, they get upset at women because women will do certain things. And what you got to understand is, is that women get emotional, so they're going to act based off their emotions. And sometimes their emotions would basically, uh, you know, like when 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 a chick get up gets emotional, she'll act a certain way, which will cause her to do certain things, which will make you feel a certain type of way based off of what she's doing. This is why you'll get all the dudes who will make videos, like you know, make towel videos complaining about how women will do this or they'll act this way or they'll be this way. But again, they don't understand female nature. And understand that women are going to act 
based off of how they feel at any moment, right? Now, you as the man, right? You have to make sure that you're not being phased by her emotions or indulging in her being on some emotional shit, right? So you have to you have to consistently be on top of your shit so that she knows that even though she's being emotional, you're not going to indulge in that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is this. Is that by you not indulging in her nonsense, right? When she gets emotional and she sees that you're not indulging in it, she's going to be reminded that she's being emotional based off of your reaction of not indulging in it. Because this is what you got to understand. If a girl gets emotional, you start arguing, going back and forth for her, and you start going into that whole thing, she doesn't realize that she's actually being emotional. You understand? So what happens is if a girl starts getting emotional and you start going back and forth for her, acting all crazy or whatever with her, you're, you're, you're justifying her emotions. You're basically saying this is okay. You understand? And so what happens is that if she gets emotional and you don't pay it no mind or you sort of basically sidestep all that and you say, listen, we not, we, I'm not going to argue with you right now. You, you go over there and relax. Right? She's going to realize that she's actually being emotional and being all, all over the place. Now, it's she can do that. That's her. That's on her. You understand what I'm saying? But you're not going to engage. And so what happens is, is that by you not engaging, it's, it's, it's basically making her realize she's being emotional. Because again, like I said, they don't realize it because they're just doing what they're doing. But by you not engaging, it's bringing awareness to her being emotional. You feel what I'm saying? So that, that's what it is, man. Crazy. Oh, is Costas talking, talking stuff again? <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. You saying confidence uh, can only get better over time, but you, so hold on, hold on, hold on, because I, I I love when dudes love to talk about you know this confidence thing and don't know what they're talking about. This is the thing. Let's let's talk about confidence real quick. Let's talk about confidence real quick. Because <clears throat> dudes always talking about confidence and don't know what they're talking about. Confidence comes from inside. Do you guys understand this? I'm going to say it again. Confidence comes from inside. 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 You said, how can you explain why there are guys who are ugly or average looking who have game confidence and still do not get uh, one woman interested in them? Where, where are those guys at? You see, how you, you just saying stuff. Where are they at? If you have a guy who has confidence and who has game, he's going to get girls. It's going to happen. And let, me, and let me say this. Let me say this. Even if you build your confidence through something outside, the confidence still came from inside. So, for example, if I feel confident because some girl said I was cute, guess what? The girl said I was cute. I took that in my mind, and now I feel confident. Where did the confidence come from? Inside. Like, it's, 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 this, shit is, this shit is not complicated. Because guess what? A girl could say I'm cute and I still believe I'm ugly. And then I'm going to keep thinking I'm ugly. Guess where that thinking's coming from? Inside. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So 
So it's not the girl. It's basically, it has to filter in through me. This is what, this is what dudes don't understand. So dude, because I, I saw some video, some dude, um, he put some video up talking about, uh, it was some Asian dude. I can't, I don't, I don't remember his name, whatever. He was talking about, he was talking about me in the video and he was saying, um, he was like, oh, you know, Mr. Lucario doesn't know what he's talking about because confidence comes from outside. You have to have success first and then you can be confident. And I'm like, what kind of retarded shit is that? <laughs> you have to have success first and then you can be confident. Like Jesus fucking Christ. Ridiculous. Again, you can build your confidence through things that are happening that you can accomplish. So for example, if I like I write this book, right? I can say, oh snap, you know what? I can write a book. Now I'm a little bit more confident that I can write another book, right? So you can do that. But this the feeling is still in me. That makes me think I could write another book. It's not about the, the book actually being written. It's about how I feel. Because how did this book get made? How did the first book get made? So so what, what was it? I was I was just super insecure at first. And then out of the blue, uh, I just was able to write a book through my insecurity. And then now that I got the book, now I can be confident. Bullshit. Jesus Christ, man. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? Jesus Christ. See, that's the thing. Like, dudes got to understand. Dudes got to understand <laughs> is that it still comes from you. You feel what I'm saying? It always comes from inside you. That's what dudes got to understand. Like, I, I, I really don't understand how dudes don't get this. That shit boggles my mind. That shit gets, I'm like, I'm like, how? how like, how is that not, uh, how is that a difficult thing to grasp? Excuse me. How is that a difficult thing to grasp? I really want to know that. <laughs> like, all right, call the number 646-481-3901. You say he didn't succeed mentioned in, in a debate that he sees guys who are average with game and confidence gets no change. He didn't succeed says a lot of stuff. He didn't succeed says a lot of stuff about me and me and he didn't succeed have never hung out. So how would he know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, what's going on? Yeah, hey, what's up, Lucario? What's yeah, poppin'? Oh, shit, I got an echo. Hold on a sec for me. All right, what's good? What's good? Yeah, hello? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that's a little better. You yeah, actually man, sounded better look, before. You sounded better so before. These, these last, <laughs> these last uh, shows you've been doing, you, you, you basically been bothering people lately. I've been bothering people? Because, <laughs> yo, man, father. father. Oh, and fathering I'm people. Okay. Because... This is the stuff that you've been saying is what my dad has been saying. Right, right. And and especially that part where you said, uh, you know how the chicks boomerang back to you because you provided something that there was, you know, wasn't out there that they weren't getting. Right, right. My, my dad told me he said he said all the chicks dealt with came back to him mm -hmm. because he had something that they weren't ever finding. And when soon you said that shit, oh yeah, there we go. Exactly. On top of that, you said what? No, no, I, I agree. That's what I'm saying. That that it, he's on point with that because yep. what guys don't understand is this: is that most dudes out here don't know what they're doing when it comes to dealing with women. You see what I'm saying? Which is why right. they can't get women. Uh, this is why dudes have the thought process: oh, all women are good for is 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 pussy. And see, that's because right. you haven't tapped into all the other things that women can do for you, or you haven't really experienced that type of shit because you have not been that guy that's so on point that she wants to even do other things for you. You see what I'm saying? 
Yo, man, and and look, and, and the, the further that point, he um, cause I seen it firsthand myself. He has about five, six exes from the past. Mm. Now, keep in mind, my my dad is like in the sixties now, right? And he 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 dated people in in, in uh, chick, chicks in their forties. Mm. So there goes that thing about uh, you know, age, looks, and you know, whatever. Oh, that's out the out out the window. Right. He's bald and he's he's retired, so blah. You know, he ain't got the money like that. This and third. But, you know, he still does his thing. Mm-hmm. Also, the other part was, um, uh, what'd you say in this, this stream earlier? Uh, basically, when it came down to female nature, um, mm-hmm. and, and men, men not realizing certain things, as far as I'm concerned, I came to the conclusion a couple months ago that, you know, you got other societies that dictate when a man is actually a man, like mm-hmm. third world uh, society. So, you know, once you're able to emotionally handle yourself and do whatever and blah, 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 then you can sit there, you know, pick out a chick. Other than that, you can't do it. Right. So, you know, we're, we're lacking that kind of stuff. And, and it shows because uh, the, men, the the women act like the men and they don't really want to. And men are inadvertently acting like women. Exactly. But you've been preaching that the whole time. Exactly. So, so you know that's that. But look, I'm gonna just I'm gonna drop this real quick. Into this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and nip to the butt. Cause I called up here a couple weeks ago about that threesome and you know, sex tape and everything else. Well, mm. the same chick I'm, I'm dealing with. This is what she's been doing. Mm. So she told me, you know, verbatim. She's like, hey, you know, I'm attracted to you because you know you don't give me that kind of attention because most guys have been on my phone by now. I was like, yo, word, how mm. about that? Right. So, you know, all these these text messages that she sent me. I wish I can forward to you, you know, blur out the numbers forward to you just just so that, you know, these guys can, you know, see that what you're saying verbatim is actually what's happening. Right. So on top of that, um, you know, uh, uh, we were sitting there talking about, she, what, you know, we were sitting there talking about picking out chicks. Mm-hmm. Because, um, uh, you know, she had, she, had a, she had a bunch of friends that are really, really attractive. So she was sitting there showing me some pictures. I'm like, yeah, you know, how about, you know, you know, invite them over to Destiny Third Because I never had a three. So right. she was sitting there talking about, you know, introducing me to it. I'm like, okay, great. So I tried to go ahead and do the over relationship rap. Mm-hmm. She did not want that. Mm-hmm. So, so, so basically, you know, you know, you can definitely get what you want as long as you're just like you've been saying, you know, you're, uh, you're reliable, consistent on your terms. Mm. You know, because, you know, all, all this stuff I, I've been basically doing on my terms. I haven't been, you know, kissing her ass or nothing. You know, we go out there, we have fun. You know, it's not a big deal. It's not just like you say, it's not just sex. You know, it's not sex, sex, hey, we know, you know, so, you know, we actually genuinely have fun. Right. You did that one of them last, uh, that last live stream, you know, you're down in the mall or something. You were talking about the fact that people don't have social skills. Right, right. And that's that's a, that's a big fact. And I think honestly, I think that's the the major component when it is dealing with dealing with women. Because just like you say, you gotta you gotta have social skills in order to pick up on certain cues, mm-hmm. pick up on their you know their emotional, you know whatever's, you know we're not the happy, sad, something bothering them. Just that third, that way you're not just charging the head, and you know they're looking at you like you got three different heads and everything else. It, it just Yo, man, you know, it, it just, you know, I hope these guys are just really, really paying attention to what you're saying. No, nah, that's, well, that's the thing, man. You know, it, it, again, the most, unfortunately, a lot of dudes, you understand, unfortunately, a lot of guys live on the internet, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, because like, like, it's like someone like you, you, you telling me uh, things that you're actually doing in real life with real women and, and, and actually, uh, you know, experiencing certain things. You see what I mean? And so you got a lot of cats out here who, they don't go out to 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 experience it, and they're they're thinking based off of theory and a whole bunch of other shit that they they don't even know what they're talking about. And so this is why it's so much confusion because you got a lot of dudes like you know the TFL, the the, the incels, the you know the MGTOWs, whoever that don't really they don't really know what's going on on the other side of the fence. You feel what I'm saying? Or they don't they yeah. don't really know how women actually operate. And unfortunately yeah. for those guys, truthfully, what's going to happen is this. And I said this on my last live stream is that most of these guys are, are not there. Most of these guys are never going to get a girl. And that's unfortunate. Like a lot of these TFL and incel, they're never going to get a chick. And if they do actually get one, they wouldn't know what the fuck to do to even keep the girl. You feel what I'm saying? Interested yeah, yeah, long yeah, enough to make that? anything happen. You see what I'm saying? And, and it sucks because they're, they're so far behind 
that it's it's not even funny. But and so they don't know what's really going on out here. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, you know. No, man. Uh, 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 no, go ahead. I'm gonna cut you off like that. Oh no, no, and that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like you know, um, that's what happens. You know what I mean? And and, and even in the chat room, uh, my dude Casas, he said, uh, funny enough, he didn't succeed. Applied to teachers and it still did not work out for him. He didn't succeed. What you gotta understand about he didn't succeed in certain cats like that who are so far behind is right. that they need to what 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 happens is they need to work on and this is what I was saying in the other on, on the other live stream. They need to work on their limiting beliefs. You feel what I'm saying? Because the limiting beliefs are the things that's going to stop you from getting to the next level. You understand? Because I could tell you all of this shit, but if you still have this limiting belief, right, it's not going to work for you. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's not going to work. And so that's the thing. Like, you you know, it's like this. It's like if you... The, the, the problem is this, is that dudes are trying to, um, you know, mask their insecurities and all these other things, the, the issues, they're trying to mask that with, you know, having money or having a nice car or trying to do all this other stuff. But it doesn't really work that way because you still have to work on the inside. This is why I keep telling dudes that the confidence is on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Because as long as on in, on the inside you feel like you ain't shit or girls ain't gonna like you or, you know, nobody likes you and all this other stuff, nothing's gonna work for you. It don't matter how much I dress it up. It's almost like if I if I had a pile of shit in my hand and I put that pile of shit in a in a in a in a brown paper bag and the brown paper bag is all rusty and it looks all terrible, right? You right. may say, well, you know. It's because the, the it's a, in a brown paper bag. You need to put the shit in a nice little box and a bow and a tie and tie it up and, and wrap it in nice gift wrapped and all that. So now the box has changed. The, 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 the external has changed. You got the fucking brown paper bag and now you got the nice fucking little box with the bow in it. Guess what? Both of them still have shit in it. You see what I'm saying? So it don't matter what the, the, the exterior does it matter. What actually matters is the inside. You see what I'm saying? The inside has to change, not the outside. The outside is going to change once the inside the inside change. Once the inside changes, people are going to be like, oh, cool, let me get this gift. Let me get this box. I'll take it. But right now, right. the box smells like shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing that you were talking about. Uh, 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 you were talking about, um, you, you know, guys, are the, you know, difference between men and women and viewpoint when it, when it comes to sex and everything else. Like, guys... You know, we might, you know, we, we'll definitely bang a 10, but we're going to have, have that six, you know, that, you know, six pointer mm. who give good head. We, we rather, we rather, you know, you know, roll with her. Right. Because I, I know for a fact that, you know, you go to a party and, you, you know, you got a couple group of people, you know, they're looking good, but for some reason, the person with, with you know, that glow and sex appeal, they, you know, who, who you know, livens it up, you gravitate towards whoever that person is. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I mean, I understand completely everything that you're saying because it was, mm. like you said, that's why I said you're, you're fathering uh, 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 <laughs> these guys on here, and I, I hope they really listen because you know, my dad, he told me a while ago, he was like, yo, you go up to a chick, you know, you just tell her exactly where you're coming from, mm-hmm. and that's that's one thing, you know, it, you know, even if the confidence route. You know, you know, I, I really don't know what to tell. You know, people in that, you know, they, they had different. Yeah, and, and, see, with, and with the confidence thing, but, a lot of that, a lot of that is stuff dudes gotta gotta recognize on their own. Because truthfully, right. there's nothing more that I can tell them. But what I'm telling them is just that they gotta see it for themselves. And unfortunately, they'll never see it for themselves because they're continuously looking at the wrong shit. They're continuously saying, "Well, I gotta be successful first, and then I'll be confident." And the funny part about that whole thing is, is that. That it that action within itself creates and reinforces the insecurity, because basically what you're saying is I need for this to happen in order for me, for me to feel good about myself. I just can't feel good about myself uh, just to just to do it. I got it. I need all this other stuff to feel good about myself. So guess what? If I take all that shit from you, you feel what I'm saying? Then what do you have? You see what I mean? And so yeah, the yeah, thing yeah, is, you right. Love with that box of shit. That's what you love with. Right, right, exactly. Because the thing is, you can accomplish something, right? And then mm-hmm. what's going to happen is, you're going to feel like I need to accomplish something else, and I got to accomplish something else, right? And then now, mm-hmm. if the if the if the if the uh, if the argument is, well, you've accomplished writing a book, 
So now you're 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 confident automatically all, all the time. Then you could have been confident automatically all the time with with or without that in the first place. Because if it sticks, why couldn't it stick with your own mind when you first did it? When you were just see, first and, being who you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and then we, see, with, with that being said, we, we got so many real world examples of, of people who they've accomplished a lot, but next you know they committed suicide. Exactly. So, I mean, it, it, you know, the, the answer is right there, right in front of you know everybody's face. Which, I, you know, I guess you just refuse to look at them because, right. you know, you be you say, you know, saying that we, we were walking down the street, see some busted, dried up looking dude, and next you know he got the baddest chick on his arm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, even if he he'd be broken. And everything. matter of fact, I know I know guys actually they got about five six kids and everything got bad ass shorty, mm -hmm. and their shorties are buying everything. I'm not saying that's the right way to go, mm. but it still happened. Right. You know, um, yo man, I, you know, look, I, only thing I got to say is, 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 you know, I, you know, I, I saw, I was, you know, looking at some of your recommendations and everything else, and you know, through YouTube, mm. you know, they like, you know, they recommended other stuff, so I tried checking out, uh, uh, some, some other guys. I'm not gonna name them because, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of trying to start now. But them guys who are advocating lying to people, right. that's, that's, I'm not I'm not all for it because that I I know that for a fact myself that is dangerous to do. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you, you lie to somebody, yeah, you might get to read the media benefits, but that person find out that you're lying mm -hmm. and shit start happening. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. They'll yeah, they'll learn soon enough. Some chicks who just kind of psycho. She's right. Gonna ruin your life. They'll learn you know soon enough. Saying? They'll learn soon enough. That's all I'm that's all I'm gonna say. They'll learn soon enough. That's all I gotta say about it. That's all they you gotta say man, about them. They will know, learn they soon enough. Because I mean, shit, they're not I don't think they're gonna learn. They're not gonna they're not gonna put, you know, two and two together. Right. That their lies started all this. So the only thing they're gonna start doing is the blame game. Oh, well you shouldn't have did this and you shouldn't have did that. Right. That's what I started to notice from people. I, I hope the ones who do wake up. Are able, able to wake up. Real talk, so, man. Bro. Like I said, man, you you fathering everybody. So you know, <laughs> I don't know. Some people they need to start calling you Papa Little Lucario or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Yo, man, I, I appreciate I appreciate them. I appreciate the call, bro. Right? No problem, man. Right, Take man. care. Be safe, bro. Now, nah, real talk. That's what I'm. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Like, listen, man. Dude's gonna learn soon enough. When you know, Ooh. if you want to be on that bullshit, that's on y'all. But trust me, I'm telling you, dude. Like. There's so many bullets I dodged back in the day, and I learned from those bullets I dodged. So I was like, "Listen, let me, let me, let me let cats know what the real deal is, because I don't want y'all to get into no fuckery." You know what I'm saying? And it, it's it's it sucks that there's too too there's too much shit out there, where because you gotta understand something. A lot of dudes they don't understand. What's really going on? They be on this. I'm, I'm gonna get to that in a second. Let me see who this is. EO, what's going on? Yo, Miss Lucario, what's up? What up? What's popping? Who's this? Uh, Nathan calling. All right, what's going on? Um, I I met, I heard you say you uh you were talking about how you dodged like bullets when you were younger. Right. Um, and I I I had a, like a three. So you know how I had like a three year relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was like 15. Right. So recently. About I think last year, mm -hmm. um, I I saw one one of your videos where you, you said if you don't want you want to be friends with the chick, you gotta tell her right, mm -hmm. and you gotta tell her that okay if you don't want if you don't want to be friends, then just tell her to contact um, you uh, when she wants to get with you right right. Um, so I did that shit right, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, in the moment. I remember you also told, uh, said in the video that no matter what happens, though, in that very moment, you got to stay calm, cool, and collected because mm. shit will go down. Right. <laughs> and I got heavy threats from her boyfriend, from the boyfriend's friend, because she was also with um, someone at that time. So you say you got, so right? you say you got a threat from her boyfriend? Mm-hmm. And I so... Got Wait, That's so right. did you, yeah. hold on, hold on. Did you know she was, she had a boyfriend at the time? Yeah, because we broke up when I was, um, fuck, when I was 18. So I'm 23 right now. Right. Um, and we were in that span when I was 15 to 18. Mm. Um, and just now, last year, I finally found the strength to say, you know what, fuck you. Not really fuck you, but, 
um, you know, just tell her the truth. Um, and now I'm like the happiest I've ever ever been because I finally got it off off my chest. Mm. Um, I I wanted to share that with everyone because uh, he verbally threatened me over text, and so did his, his um, so did his other friends as well. And wait, wait, hold on, um, wait, wait. Let me because I'm kind of confused because I want to know. So you said y'all was together from 15 to 18, and y'all broke up. Correct. Right. I left her. Okay, so yeah. you left her, and then. Then now you're saying you try to holler at her again and now she has a boyfriend? Is that what happened? Well, so we've been friends on and off for like forever since we broke up. Right. Um, Because, you know, uh, I remember, I think in a live stream you said with Steve, Mm. uh, that Steve said that removing someone from your heart is like the hardest shit Mm. you have, like, as a man to do. Mm. Um, And uh, so... So wait, what was the question? Sorry, no, because no, I want to know, like, <laughs> I want to know what, why, why did her boyfriend ho- like holler at you and say something? Like, period. Like, what, what was that about? Oh, because I said to um, never contact me again mm. unless if you want to rekindle things with me. Mm. Um, and so, and when, and when did you say this? Me. And when did you say mm-hmm. this? This was last year. Oh, last um, year. Okay, so then you was, was like, look, though, and then so the, and then so the, and then so her boyfriend. Threaten you because you told her that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. And also her other friends. Uh, she gave um, her friends my number, and I had to change my number, change my shit, block her, mm. and just completely remove myself from the situation. But I stayed calm, and nothing happened, and mm. I don't think I, anything will happen. Mm. And um, so this is, but this is what I, this is what I think happened. So, because when you, when y'all broke up, right? Mm. Y'all was just cool. Like, you was just like, yeah, we cool. We just friends and all that, right? Yeah, exactly. And then, so um, now, and hold on, wait. So and that, was, though, that was mainly, though, because I didn't know what the fuck I wanted, truthfully. Right, and that's, that's um, what I'm about to say. That's what I'm about to say. So what I'm yeah. saying is now, now, so y'all been friends for a few years. And he said last year, you hit her up and said, hey, don't call me unless you want to be more than friends. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so see that's also, see that's why that's also, that hold on, let me sorry. stop where you're right there. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. why the 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 um the drama happened. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly, because I, I prolonged the friendship and I just let it happen, right? Right, because this is what this is what yeah. this is what you you you're supposed to do in this situation. Because this is what you did and this mm-hmm. is what you're supposed to do. What you did was this. Y'all broke up and you said, hey, let's be friends, right? So now she's thinking y'all just cool. Well, well no, wait, 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 let me, let me, wait, let me finish because let me finish. Yeah. This, this is what I'm getting. You said, let's just be friends and y'all gonna, y'all just cool or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Is was that is that correct? No. So the friendship, it was on and off, like, just entirely from my end and her end. Mm-hmm. at the same time um because for the longest time it took me um to get over her and for her to get over me as well right so yeah so yeah um, so so you saying y'all y'all was still kind of fucking around right exactly but i allowed the friendship to happen though um okay. that i'm not gonna like deny at all right um because because she was an important aspect of my life at mm-hmm. that time um but now she she sort of not um but yeah, but see uh, that. So, but see so that's the thing. Saying? Let me tell you what happened, though. Let me tell you what happened, and this is mm-hmm. this is this was your mistake. The mistake yeah. was was when y'all broke up, right? What yeah. you what you what you? Because when we talk about you telling a girl, "Hey, don't holler at me unless you want to be together or get together," right? Yeah. yeah, that's supposed to be that's supposed to be done, and basically, for example, so when y'all broke when y'all first broke up, that's when you mm-hmm. tell her that you say, "Hey, listen." I'm not trying to be your friend. If you yeah, want to yeah. holler at me, <laughs> holler back at me, right? So that yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. What you did was you said, hey, let's be friends. And then y'all was still sort of fucking around a little bit. And y'all was on some sort of quote unquote friend shit. Then you said, hey, don't holler at me unless you want to fuck around. And so what happened was oh, yeah. because you said it uh, at that point, y'all was supposed to sort of be cool with each other and then now she has a boyfriend at the time so the boyfriend's looking like who the fuck is this nigga hitting up my girl talking about holler at me if you want to you see uh, what I'm saying 
Yeah, I get what you're saying, but I, what I'm saying is the friendship was on and off, just like the relationship was for when I was with her for three years, though. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Um, that, that's, that's why, why it's all drinky, because you, you weren't you know? clear. That's, what, that's all it was. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? mean? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Uh, you got to be clear about that. Yeah. So anytime, anytime, if you... If you're dealing with a chick and y'all and y'all either break up or she y'all taking a break or whatever it is, and and you want and you want shit to still be how it was as far as a sexual situation, you need to basically tell her, hey, listen, um, you know, I don't want to be on some friend shit. I want to be on some mm-hmm. fucking shit. So, you know, don't call me. I won't call you, but only call me if you want to be on some fucking shit, and then never call her again. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Period. Right. <laughs> But see, what you did was you yeah, still got I yourself got, involved in all that. <laughs> that ain't gonna cut it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, because I got caught up in my own shit. And you know, I never heard of that concept until I found your channel. Right, right. Which was around last year. I mm-hmm. forget. Right. Um, but that it was actually the, really the hardest thing ever. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I, I wanted to share that. Right, a lot right. of these guys want to say, oh, I want to lie to these women. I want to lie to people. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's not the way to go. <laughs> right, right. And, and if, um, if you, 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 just gotta, like you just got to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're you're extremely clear with it. You understand? Because mm-hmm. the fact is you still wanted to fuck around with her. But even yeah. though you're breaking up, you can say, listen, well, I only want to fuck with you in this. Like, I don't really. Because you ain't really trying to be your friend because you still got those feelings. You yeah. still want to. Right. So. That's all you need to say to her. Listen, I ain't trying to be a friend. If you want to be on some sexual shit, holla at me. If not, I'll see you yeah. when I see you. That's it. You see what I mean? And that's and all you know it is. what? When I uh, when I ended it too, mm. she was like, "You you and I both know that you're just gonna contact me again." Mm. And I'm just like, "Nope, <laughs> mm. I'm blocking your shit. You can contact me if you want. Right. Like, that's it. And that's I'm how you gotta keep it if you're gonna like, do it that way. You see what I'm saying? And so and then, and yeah, then also you. you know you gotta also talk to other women, deal with other women, because mm-hmm. a lot of times the reason why dudes get caught up in this shit is because they ain't got no other women on the roster. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And and that also, from her end, comes from me not being consistent, correct? Exactly. Okay. Exactly, right. right. Because, because again, everything, see, it's about the consistent... This is what you guys got to understand, right? Mm. And this is very, very, very fucking important. Very important. This is what separates the masculine from the feminine, right? Mm. What what men do is this. If I say, like, basically, it's, it, this is the thing. If it, if it's said, it's done. You understand? Mm. So if I tell a woman, listen, if I tell her, if I'm talking to a girl and I say to her, yo, um... I'm not going to call you. So if you want to holler at me, you got to you gotta call me first, right? Mm-hmm. That means yeah. that because I said that, that's done. Meaning I will never call her, period. Because I said I'm not going to mm-hmm. call you. As soon as I call her on the first, like if I call her first, she has no reason to respect me anymore. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Cause, because cause that puts her in the masculine frame when you tell her what to do, correct? No, no. What, what I'm saying Basically. is that you're putting her. You're you're putting yourself in that masculine frame by saying you're sticking to your word. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, if you, you see what I mean? Uh, so that so uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so so what I'm saying that makes, is that makes a lot more sense. right. So if you're if you're talking to a girl and let's say you get with another girl and you you mm-hmm. you you chilling with her and let's say y'all become boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. And y'all break up and you say and she says, hey, can we just be friends? And you don't want to be friends. You're like, look, I don't want to be friends. But this is what's gonna happen. If you wanna hit, if you wanna be with me again, you gotta call me. I'm not gonna call you, right? Because you said I'm not gonna call you, you can't call her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because right. you said it. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. What when it what what said has to be done. And so the thing is, a lot of times the reason why women don't respect men is because you say certain things and then you go back on what you said. You see what I mean? So if you if you deal yeah. with a girl, you tell her, hey, if you say, yo, if you fucking if you if you uh raise your voice at me again, I'm out, right? And she raises a voice at you again and you stay and you start arguing with her and you keep you keep being there, she's done. She you, it's over. It's over. The, yeah. the 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 respect is gone, you're done, you might as well just pack it up and leave because her respect level for you is over and she's never gonna listen to you again. She's not gonna take you seriously, and you're gonna be headed for problems. 
Because you have to be about what you say. You see what I'm saying? If you say it, it's done. Period. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, match your actions with your words. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And and see, and what happens is, is that what what goes down is, is that the woman starts to understand and respect your level of uh, consistency. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because even even when I be talking to my even when I talk to my girl or my wife or whatever, they they it's like when I say something, they're like, oh no no don't say that don't be like that because they know I mean it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like they know yeah. it's it's a wrap. If I like if I say yo look this is what's gonna happen, they're like oh shit you understand because they know that I'm 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 gonna stick to that shit till forever. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Unless some a circumstance happens where something may have to change. You understand? And that's rare. That's one thing. But generally, if you say, so, 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 for example, I told, I, I, I'll give you another example. This is, this is funny. I told my wife that if she, if she gets overweight, I'm leaving her. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so now, yeah, it's understandable. you see what I mean? So, so guess what's going to happen? My wife's going to stay in shape. Uh, my wife is in the gym in all the time. Because she knows that what I said must be done. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like a one, one and done. Exactly. Thing, pretty much. It. You see what I'm saying? And so I, I have another question then. Right. How do you make that list of standards other than just through personal experience with the women? Is there like any other way or, or no? You said, is there, you said, is there any other way to do what? Like, how do you make that? personal list of standards where the woman doesn't cross like other than through the experiences you have is there any way or like uh is it with like preferences as well well the, or well the thing is your your standards is your is the standards that you set for your personal you know your like how you want things to go and all you do mm. is you relay that to the girl that you're dealing with you see what i'm saying so you relay oh, that. Okay. You relay that with your with your with your words and your actions. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so that, uh, but first you have to know who you who you are. Right. You got to know um, what you want in this type okay. of stuff you you're you're into. So so that's so that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you know if if um if you are the type of dude who let's say for example um you you know you don't like when when chicks is always talking back and, you know, being all belligerent and loud and all that other stuff. So when she does that, right, you got to let her know, look, that's not cool, right? And I, I don't, I, I need you to not be doing that, right? And unless, and then what's going to happen is she might do it again, right? So then you say, listen, remember the last time I told you, I, I'm not really feeling that. So if you do it again, I'm out, right? Now, okay. the only way that she's going to believe that you're going to be out is because everything else you're doing, because again, this is conscious and subconscious. Everything that you're doing has to um, align with that. So, for example, you may be the type of guy who um, you get you get places on time all the time. You say, "Yo, I'm gonna be there on time." You get there on time, or you're the type of person who you know you when you tell her, "Hey, I'm gonna." do this, I'm going to, you know, uh, meet you at this place, you meet her at that place, you say, I'm going to take out the garbage, or you take out the garbage, like, everything you do is based off of what you said you were going to do, and it's consistent, so, what happens is, if you tell her, hey, listen, if you raise your voice again, I'm out, that sticks in her mind, like, oh, shit, he, he's actually probably going to be out, so let me not raise so my voice you again. you let it happen, like, one time, right. and then, if it happens again, you, you tell her that. Right, if you tell her again, you be like, look, if it happens again, uh, I'm okay. out. Right, and then, and, and, right. and guess what? When it does happen, you got to be out. You understand? And the reason why is because you may lose her, right? But you're going to gain so much more because what you're gaining is yeah. is that you're conditioning yourself and you're building yourself up to be the type of guy that is the type of guy that women, when they deal with, they're going to see you as that high-value dude because only a high-value dude has the confidence enough to say, listen, this is what I want, and if you're not providing that, I'm leaving. Period. And um, technically, you should, like, as a man, mm. we should be able to let go easily, right? Or of course. Or is that not? Of course. Okay. And see, of course, and see, that's the thing. That's the thing. Mm. 
as a guy, and, and this is the hardest part about the whole stuff because the thing is, you're gonna get, you're gonna like a girl, you're gonna, and this, I, I did a video about this the other day where I was saying you have to be mm. strong enough to right. dump girls you like because there's gonna be times where you're gonna deal with a girl you like and she's gonna do some fucked up shit and you're gonna have to get rid of her. You understand what I'm saying? And so yeah. all of your, and this is why I always say the game is about you. Everything that you're doing in the game, it should be there to serve you. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And if it's I not had, serving you... I had everything ass backwards when right. I, you know before saying? I found your channel, honestly. Like. <laughs> right, and so if it's, not, if it's not serving you, you don't need to deal with you know? it. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? If it's not serving you, you don't need to deal with it. And see, this is why a lot of these game goofy dudes online don't understand this shit. This is why they got to play games and do manipulative mm -hmm. tactics and do a whole bunch of goofy shit because what they're doing is they're, they're playing the game trying to serve women to get women to serve them. You understand what I'm saying? So they're saying, what can I do mm. to get this girl to, 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 to like me or to chase me or to want to be with me? What are the tactics and the tricks I can do to get this girl to do this? Fuck that. It's not about that. It's, look, this is right. what I want. Are you going to do this or not? Are you going to shit or get off the pot? Yes or no? Okay? That's it. <laughs> Period. It's real, it's real simple. So, so, so the, 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 the basis is this, is that this is the game plan. I'm the game plan. You understand what I'm saying? Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking for people to put on my team. It's like I'm the business. I'm the business. I'm the fucking, uh, uh, you know, the, the business. I'm looking for employees. You feel what I'm saying? And if you're not doing your job right, you're fired. It's that simple. You see what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I got you. right. And so, and so again, this will goes back to what I was saying earlier about men being reliable and consistent. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you have a, a, a fucking company that's in a, 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 in, in a, in a high rise building or something, mm -hmm. that company is reliable and consistent. They're going to be there the next day and the next day after that, the building's still going to be there unless it gets knocked down or whatever. But that, what I'm saying is it's going to be there. You understand? It's consistent you know, and reliable. You know what I'm is that all the other channels on YouTube, mm -hmm. they teach um, people to have like an, um, an abundance mentality. Right. They, they never say to just be reliable and consistent. Mm -hmm. they, they always say, just get as much women as you want. Get, get as many women as you can. Mm -hmm. And then the one woman that you want will see that. And then that nature will be used against her. No, no. Well, and you could. Well, the thing is, you have, could. You still need to have an abundance mentality. You can. Yeah. You can have the abundance mentality. The thing is, though, is that what you want to you be. What you. On. What you want right. to do as a man. This is not even for the. This is not for women. You understand? None of this shit is for women. The thing yeah. is, when you are, because again, a lot of guys they'll they'll get up, they'll get frustrated, they'll get upset. They're like, why can't I get girls? How come girls aren't uh, wanting to fuck with me? Why is it so hard to get these chicks? Blah blah blah. One of the main reasons why it's so hard is because guys aren't grounded in who the fuck they are in the first place. And when you are grounded in who you are in the first place, what happens is, is that that's where the reliability and the consistency comes in. And then that's where the boundaries and all the other shit comes in, which creates you to be that guy who is the top dude, who the, who, the guy who women say, damn, well, this guy is valuable. And, and therefore, since he is valuable, I'm willing and I'm able and I actually want to follow his lead. So when I'm in a situation and I'm dealing with a girl and she knows that what I say is what is going to happen and what I say is going to be done, which happens to, what happens is, is that she gets in a situation and she's like, oh shit, this is a really good thing. And she knows that if she fucks up, she's going to lose the good thing. So what does she do? She falls in line. You see what I'm saying? But it started from you first. Yeah. Be becoming that guy you see what i'm saying mm. that's what it is yep. you have to become that guy if you become that guy then the women are going to gravitate to you because you are that rock you're that mountain you're that guy who knows what the fuck he's about see the problem is is that if you're chasing women meaning you're trying to find tactics and fucking pick up lines and all this other shit to try to get her anytime you're thinking what can i do to try to get her you've already lost you understand what I'm saying? Because you're always going to be in the frame of trying to get her. You understand? Instead of having a structure for a woman to follow. You see what I mean? It's two so different that's things. That's why they say it's never about who, um, what you do or who you say or what you say. It's all about who you 
you are. Right. right. Exactly. Basically. Exactly. Okay. Because 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 uh, you gotta understand, if I'm if I'm fucking if I'm trying to, uh, you know, like get the girl or chase the girl, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What happens is is that I'm making it about the girl. And so if I'm making it about the girl, the girl has nothing to follow. You feel what I'm saying? And so the girl needs yeah. something to follow. And she's going to follow the best situation. She's going to follow the most reliable and consistent. You see what I'm saying? Because she's like, okay, this is... Because remember, chicks... See, the thing with, with the whole thing is this. And I think my dude... Uh, uh, um, my dude, Alan Roger Curry, talked about this. He was saying that the, the 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 guys who are the best guys to be in relationships with, I guess you know what I'm saying, is the guys who are who are alphas with beta traits. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And so, yeah. so uh, what, like right. A of both. right, right, right. So what happens is okay. is this is that you could be a total alpha dude where um, you're dealing with chicks or whatever, but what happens is is that if you're that total alpha motherfucker all the time, chick's not going to want to uh, deal with you right. beyond think just... Right, just a dick and condescending. Right, and much. then it's going to deal with but you then for... But if you're the beta, right? Right, right. And then, then... complete pussy. Right, exactly, <laughs> right. So, so, so like, it's like, it's like if you have a business, right? And mm. you're this, you're the boss, but you come in and you curse everyone out every day and you punch them in their face... They're going to probably leave the job. They're going to be like, I ain't working here no more. And that's and so that's the yeah. same thing where if you're like on some total alpha male, I'm going to fuck about nothing, whatever. I can do my thing, whatever, like that. So, yeah, you want to have the alpha traits, but you also want to have traits that are going to show that you know how to work with people. You know how to be mm-hmm. balanced. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so that's the thing. Yeah. That's the that's the, that's the the thing. But, but again, it still has to be you making it about you, just like it's your company. You're not going to hire somebody and then try to cater to your employee and say, oh, well, uh, uh, Miss Employee that I just hired yesterday, what do you think I should do? <laughs> you, you don't give a fuck. You look, this is the structure. This is your uniform. You come to work at this time, this time. That's what it is. That's our situation. Mm. Same thing when you're dealing with women. It's like, listen, look, this is what I'm about. This is what I need you to do. This is what we're going to do. And that's that. And so what happens is women... They, they want to follow those guys because they're like, oh, finally, I can let my hair down and be a fucking woman. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. That's what they're looking right. for. You see what I mean? So so if you're the type of guy who's like, oh, well, let me lie to this girl and let me pretend and let me act like, you know, oh, you know, I'm this way to try to get her and all this other stuff. She's going to see you as a goofy motherfucker. And she's like, okay, well, uh, yeah, he's cute or whatever, but I don't know about this guy. because And so what happens is that you're always... <laughs> You're always going to be be starting from square one trying to get another girl because eventually she's going to bounce because she sees that you're not consistent. She sees that you're not reliable. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I got you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, That's man. Good talking with you. Yeah, definitely, uh, bro. I'll probably hit you up or call again next live stream. I don't know. That's YouTube's what's up, been man. been messing around with the notifications, but I haven't been getting it on my phone, so I've been missing all of them. Oh no! Nah, yeah, um, I do I remember every every Friday at three thirty. You know what I'm saying? And then I do some uh, yeah, randomly during the week. Okay. You feel me? So yeah, man, I yeah, appreciate I the call, you. bro. All right, All right. peace. Up. All right, peace. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. You guys gotta really, really be on top of your shit. I'm telling you, the more on top of your stuff, the 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 easier it's gonna be to navigate with women. You feel what I'm saying? Call the number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Who's this? Yo, what's going on? I'm Corey. It's got you. What's poppin'? What's going on with you? Man, you making me feel like texting te- te- all these emails and tell me what I need right now. <laughs> <Some food>. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> what's poppin' with you? Oh, nothing. I was um I was late, so the title yeah yeah I said uh accept women nature. Mm. Like it's accept the way they are, but Basically, you gotta let them know what you about at the same time. Right, right. Because this is the thing. This is the thing. I think a lot of this is the funny part. Because I know um, some dudes. When you say accept female nature, they think that we're saying cosign a woman's bad behavior, which is incorrect. You understand? 
it's understanding that sometimes, you know, a woman may woman may do certain things, right? And you don't co-sign it, but you understand that this is just how she is, right? And then so what you do is is that you take precaution and you do certain things to make sure that you yourself don't get caught up in the bullshit. And it's like, for example, if it's raining outside, or let's say, because this, this is the thing. With women, it's like when, you know when the weather where it says, is a slight chance of rain? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And so what you do is you bring your umbrella just in case it rains. You feel what I'm saying? So you're prepared for the rain. So that's the thing with women is that there are certain things women may do that you may not necessarily like, but you prepare for it and you accept it. So if I go outside and they say it's a, 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 a slight chance it might rain and I, I'm prepared with my umbrella, if it starts raining, I just put, on, put my umbrella up, right? I'm not going to sit there and cry and bitch and moan and scream. Oh, my God, why is it raining? Fuck this rain. I can't believe it's raining right now. I hate the rain. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Because it's always going to rain. You feel what I'm saying? That's, the, that's, that's how it is in nature. You see what I mean? And so there's certain things women are going to do, and you just have to make sure you're prepared for it. There's certain things women are going to do you got to accept because that's what they're going to do. You see what I mean? And so that's that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I was on I was on vacation to Vegas. That's why I was missing some of the live stream. Mm -hmm. But when I came when I was coming back, I was like, let me try like mm -hmm. a dating app and I choose I chose like POF or whatever and most of the people say it doesn't work. When I got on it, it was like five five or six girls hitting me up at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I'm just sitting there just chilling, but my phone kept dying on and off, so Oh, like, damn! It, so you got you got to be like basically. I say what I mean, mm. and then they, I guess they feel it, and then that's when they respond. Like, mm -hmm. like you just said, like you have to mean what you say. Mm -hmm. Right, you got to, and that's the thing. See, you got and you got to you got to be you got you have to um, practice that too because sometimes you say something and then you may want to go back on it because in that particular situation or a particular circumstance may come up where you might want to go back on it, but you really can't because you have to stay consistent. You see what I mean? Because in that little moment, you're like, oh, well, I said this, but I want to... No, no, no. You got to... And, and also what it does is that it conditions you to stick to, to stick to your word, which also conditions you to be that type of dude and, and, you know, to, to really be on point like that. So when women interact with you, they're like, okay, I can rely on this motherfucker. Or I can see that he's like this and which makes her want to stay with you. And, and also this is why, because I remember somebody was talking about like, oh, you know, you should flake on women because they flake on you. And I'm like, no, you're, you're, you're a guy. You're, you're a man. Like, again, you, if you say you're going to do something, do that shit. You see what I'm saying? And this is why... This is why women gravitate to guys who are consistent and reliable because a lot of them are not are inconsistent and unreliable. You see what I'm saying? And so yeah. because you because they see something in you that they want to be, they see something in you that they lack. That's why they want to gravitate to you. So if you're so if you're as inconsistent and 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 as unreliable as they are, all that's going to happen is, is that you're going to you're going to get certain girls who are are just all over the place, but the ones who are looking for real men and the ones who respond to masculine energy are not going to fuck with you because they're going to look at you as feminine because you're doing the same type of shit they usually do. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what it is. That's what it is. You know, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. You feel me? So what what happened with that chick at at, at your school? You, you still fucking around with her? Oh uh, nah. <laughs> I, I stopped going to school because um, I'm gonna start working at FedEx soon. Right. They had called me in for an interview, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna do that so I can have some money in my pocket, and then so I could start doing my goals of traveling. That's right. what I want to do before I hit like you know 30 or whatever, and then from there, while I'm traveling, talk to work on my game outside of LA because yeah. I'm in LA. Like I'm used to the LA women now, but. I just need to move around. I feel you're not as good though. At least you're moving around and getting shit popping, talking to other women. That's what you. That's what you need to be doing. You feel what I'm saying? So you yeah. know, 
That's what it is, bro. But yo, listen, I got I got a few more people trying to get in. So I wanted to get a few more calls before we get out of here and all that. I feel, you right? All right? So I'm, I'm holler at you. All right. all right. Peace, bro. All right. So, yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hey, this is Chuck, man. What up? Who's this? Calling about that Barry. Calling about who? I said, this is Shelton. Shelton Young calling, about, calling out the Barry. Oh, what's going on, bro? Yeah, what's good with you, fam? Just checking in, tuning in to your shit. You all right. Me? What's going on, what's going on with you, man? Ain't too much. I'm just looking at the uh, chat room thing. You already know. It's a lot of clowns in there who really don't get what you're trying to say. And right. me, personally, you know how I give it up. You know, I'm a roasting nigga down to the ground. <laughs> this game, man. But at the same time, I'm trying my best to sit back and just, you know, really, really think to myself and say, hey, I know everybody needs an outlet. Right. I know everybody, you know, ain't the same. You know, I grew up in, in an area where... <clears throat> I was around real players, pimps, max, and right. motherfuckers who was getting up out the mud. Exactly, so right, outlook. right. I got But I just want to say this. I'm not going to hold you, because I know motherfuckers want to get in. You need, really need to talk to some people who really need it. But I want to say, what motherfuckers don't get, game is not the application of knowledge, it's the application of wit. And mm. the problem is, a lot of you motherfuckers is too, you know, y'all apply societal standards to something that's really some street shit. Mm. And a lot of you motherfuckers ain't going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A lot, especially a lot of you corny ass people. You know, I ain't want to try to make this a race thing or nothing, but I noticed a lot of motherfuckers who, you know, you know, who's really calling in, they 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 operate from a different <clears throat> way of thinking. Mm. You know, they operate from a different outlook on life. So no, they're not going to ever get it. Right. As far as I'm concerned. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they're just not. It's not knowledge. There's nothing you can learn. There's no book. There's no motherfucking mm -hmm. DVD you can buy. Motherfucker, this is wit. Mm -hmm. This is a cold mouthpiece you gotta have. This is direct experiences you have to have. So, you know, keep doing your thing, Hashim. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to motherfucking Jelani who put me on. Oh, to real talk. Rest ago. in peace to my dude. You know real what I'm talk. saying? That's my nigga. I came all the way from the Bay mm -hmm. to fucking Brooklyn, Canarsie, Brooklyn, to meet with the brother and we kicked it that day. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, that's what's up. Most shit. Yeah, we did that, man. And that's always gonna be on my heart. So, you know, like I said, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even know who the fuck you are. So, you know, it that's is what's what it up. Is, yeah, man. shout out. That's my dude right there, too. Real talk, man. Real talk. Man, for sure. That's the show. Sure. I appreciate it, man. The show, man. Stay up. All right, bro. That's what's up. That's my dude Shelton right there. Shelton know the game, bro. He knows the game. For real, for real. Now, that's some real talk. That's some real talk. I mean, you know, like, I've been trying to tell guys, man. Man. I've been trying to tell guys. He said... <laughs> Do C41, you said the game is rigged. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Yo, what's going on? Hey, what's up, brother? What's poppin'? Who's this? Yeah. Yo, this is Terry, representing Atlanta, boy. What up? What's going on with your man? No, no, I ain't saying nobody, but man, I'm just saying I'm representing Atlanta. Oh, no, Atlanta, I said, what's Georgia. good? What's, what's going on with you, though? What's, what's poppin'? Oh, oh, the good life. But I want to, before I ask my question, mm. and I, I want to get your perspective or something, because I've been going out, running game. Mm. I've been doing it a lot, like, right. like over 100 days straight. Mm. And I, I live in Atlanta, and I also live in New York. Right. And one thing I strongly, like among my friends, I, I, I realized... There's a lot more single women, mm -hmm. uh, higher percentages of single women, than there are single white women, mm. or even Asian women, or Latin women. And it, it seems to be significant, and, and, and this is just by socializing. I'm curious, like, what's your take on that? So, Have you experienced that as well, or whatever, whatever? So you're saying that you see more, more single... Uh... Higher percentage... I would say a higher percentage of single black women. Oh, okay, I got to you. Any other race? Um, I mean, it's it's it's. I, I don't necessarily. It's weird because I don't I don't I don't necessarily see that as more. Um, I think like, I because this is the thing. Sometimes what happens is this: is that what I notice with like with white girls or Asian girls or whoever. They'll be single, but they'll be like fucking around with a dude. You feel what I'm saying? 
uh, and and they'll 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 make it seem as if that dude is their man, but it's not. You feel what I'm saying? Like so so, okay. but but what I see with a lot of black women is that it's like they won't like claim no dude unless the dude say that's you know you understand what I'm saying? As, as he says, hey, I'm your man, or we gonna be together. You see what I mean? So so that's what could be like the the difference that I've noticed. You feel what I'm saying? But um, but I don't think it's like more or less or anything. I just think, you know, there's a lot of chicks who are single and there's a lot of chicks who um, are single but also fucking around with a dude that's not their man. You feel what I'm saying? And it, it, there's a small percentage of women who actually got real boyfriends or husbands and all that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there is. And I, and I don't, I don't, I didn't know how to say this mm. Well, try, because I'm trying to be politically correct right. and diplomatic about it. I don't mm. want to come across like I'm bashing black women. Mm. But it, but it's definitely, it seems to be a thing. Like, you know, um, even like when I'm going out in game, some of them might be like, I'm engaged or I can't do anything because of this dude. I, I, I don't really know the details. Of mm. it. I don't know the depth of it. Mm. But even among my friends, mm. Like, here in Atlanta, there's a shitload of single women. Mm. But I'm going to, like, overlook that. But the black women in, like, New York, mm. the black women that are my friends that I know, a lot a lot of them are just, like, with nobody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, the and thing it's is... not all of them. It's not all of them. Right. But, but, but it's, like, with, with the white women there, like, I see them, like, mingling with this one dude that they claim as theirs. Right, right. Well, that's that's again, like I said, like a lot of a lot of those, those chicks, you know, they'll because again, like because even if, I'll give you an example for myself, um, like I'm in an open relationship and I'm I'm you know my girl okay. and my 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 wife are both white, right? So mm -hmm. what I notice is I'll I'll holler at black chicks, and a lot of black chicks ain't down with the whole you know. Oh well, you got a girlfriend, you got a wife. Shit, they get all weird about that shit. You see what I'm saying? And so the black chick, right, right. But then I'll talk to certain certain white girls, and they all they don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so so that's what I'm oh, saying. Okay. There's probably there's probably a more what what I find is that there's more of a receptive situation, and I don't know if it's a culture thing or whatever. But it's more. Yeah, of I realize a, that too. I, I think right. there is a culture thing, right? Because it's it's more of a receptive thing, just in general, where it's like. You might meet with a, you might talk to a black chick and she'll be on some, well, it's all or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But then you can yeah, talk yeah. to a white girl or an Asian girl or whatever, or a Hispanic girl. And it's like, yeah, we could chill and hang out and, you know, kick it. You feel what I'm saying? But, but, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the black girl may want more than that. You feel what I'm saying? And so I'm, and I'm just yeah, generalizing yeah. based off of what I've seen over the years. You feel what I mean? So, you know, yeah, I, to I totally see that. <laughs> right. I, I, I also, I also think that, black women are more socially conservative. Right, right, right. Real talk. I agree with that, too. I, I totally agree with that shit. Because... Like, white women, mm -hmm. sometimes... I, I, I like the whole freaky shit, but sometimes it, it gets to a point of stupidity mm -hmm. where it's like... I, I had some white women who was like, yo, why don't we have a threesome, mm -hmm. but it's going to be two guys, and the guy interact with you, that would turn me on. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. Like, you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit too out there. They're, they're, they're like, that's, that's why a lot of black women are not feminists and a lot of white women are. Right, right. You know, they, 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 they could be really <coughs> fucking dipshit out there. Right, and right. And I'm like, yo, hold that, fall back. Right, right. But, 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 but you're open about you having an open relationship with your wife. Right. And you're open about your, your girlfriend and everything. Mm. Do, do you feel like, do you feel like if your your wife mm. had another dude, mm. who, is that a type of thing you're okay with? Yeah, she dates, she dates other guys. She yeah. dates other guys? Yeah. So we have, we have a, 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 a open relationship where I see other women, she sees other dudes, um, my, my girlfriend is, is free to see other dudes. You feel what I'm saying? So we, we wow. totally do the no monogamy <laughs> shit at all. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with n no type of like, you need to only be with me type shit. Like, I don't do that shit. You see what I'm saying? So, but, but as far wow. as like, 
But as far as like uh like what you were saying where chicks was talking about uh you fucking with some other dude with the I don't do that shit at all. You feel what I'm saying? Like Oh yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what the program. <laughs> right, right. I don't do yeah. you know, But you know it's yeah, funny, so you know it's yeah, funny yeah. though. You know it's funny though. I've had I've had um uh white guys who who propositioned me to fuck their wife because they like that shit that man, was it that mandingo yeah. shit where they want you to fuck their girl in front of them and all that you know what I'm I saying? think that's that whole Amber Rose slut war even though right. <laughs> she didn't start the first slut war mm. she really popularized it mm. and this whole you know let, let, let's fuck anything like mm. let, let's bring the cows let's start going to water and fucking sharks right right like, <laughs> it, it, like that, and Amber Rose is not black, by the way. A lot of mm. people don't understand that she's actually white. She's a natural brunette. Really, I thought and, she was mixed though. I thought yeah. she got like a black mother or some shit. I, uh, I, I thought she her did. Father, her father is white, mm. and her mother is like one third black. Okay. So she's running with that. Right, right. But she, but she's really white, mm. and, and, and and things started to make sense. When she said that, I'm not trying to be racist about white people, but it's just like, but, but, but my, my whole thing is about this. It could, it, it, it's starting to seem like it could be a slippery sliding slope. Mm. Because it, because I feel like we we had kind of like a standard, and then we got open. We got to this real comfortable spot where we're open about what we sexually want, mm. and it's heading towards, you know, a, a, a little bit of la 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 land where it's like. This whole non-binary, um, so many genders and all that is, mm. is also going along with sexuality. Right. Because, you know, I, I was at this um, forum mm. at this college with, with this girl that I already smashed. And somebody was in um, NYU talking about how race is a social construct. Mm. It is. So, <laughs> But, but the thing is, like, but the thing is, like, if that's the case, then you could say you're white. I mean, if 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 thousands of years ago people said that people like us are white, and they said people that who are white now are black, you know what I'm saying? It would be the same shit. Yeah, yeah, it, it right. would be the same thing. Right. But but the it, 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 but the thing is, like, it's just like with gender. Mm. Like sex is not a social construct. Oh no, no, that's not gender, a social maybe. construct. That's that's see, that's the thing. And people try people try to mix the two. See, race is a social construct. Uh the sex and the, and the gen that's not a social that's actual uh you know what I'm saying? That's basically yeah, life. But, <laughs> but, but you don't feel like it's a name just like black is a name. Mm. We socially constructed to believe black is this, so we name everybody who look like this black. But mm. just like Everybody who biologically fits this is male. Mm. Everybody who biologically fits this is female. Right, but there are so actual... The name itself... Right, but, but see, but but see that's... There a... is a biological mm. difference mm. from you and Brad Pitt. Mm. Because our, we have different melanin. We have different skin. Our hair texture is different. Right, but that, but see, that's the thing. There's a, there's a difference in the actual... It's like if I, got, if I, get, if I go to... Let's say if I buy... Uh, a pair of sneakers that's black and then I buy another pair of sneakers the same exact pair but it's white it's it's the same exact sneaker it's just different colors that's that's the only difference really you feel what I'm saying it's not really any so what I'm saying is it's not gonna be any type of like uh different type of behavior because between myself as a black guy and and another dude as a white dude because the difference is is that there's gonna be a difference between myself as a man and a, another person as a woman. You feel what I'm saying? Because there's supposed yeah. to be that that yin and yang difference in order for us to procreate and everything like that. But as far as me being a, 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 a you know um, a male or a man or whatever, being black or white or or you know Hispanic, whatever, it's, those those are all c constructs of basically talking about the same shit, but just in a different way. You see what I'm saying? And so, but so between, somebody who looks white mm. says, "I go." So we can say Raquel Dolezal is black. You say now we could do what? Say Raquel Dolezal. You talking about Rachel is black. Dolezal, that that chick who 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 uh, who who pretended to be and black and all that shit. Well, this is the thing. This yeah. is the thing. Uh, like, there's a, a philosopher named Ant, uh, Alan Watts, right? He talked about how. 
uh, you know, live you 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 know a wise man lives on on two levels. So there's one level which is societal, and then there's the other level that's beyond society and, and more spiritual or whatever. So on a, on a societal level, we we're 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 indoctrinated into this is black, this is white. You're a black person, you're a white person, and all this other stuff, right? We're we're indoctrinated into the social construct, and so a woman like Rachel Dolezal, the reason why it's goofy for her to be doing what she's doing is because she's she's indulging or she's basically living within the construct. So we're 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 relating to her within the construct. Right? So that's one thing. But beyond the construct, she could say whatever the fuck she want to say about herself. She could be like, yeah, I'm black, I'm white. It, like, it doesn't really matter. But within the construct, so there's two levels. It's that construct, and then there's beyond the construct. So beyond the construct, hell yeah. But within the construct, no. You know what I'm saying? And so that's okay. the thing because you still, even though you understand things on a level beyond it, you still have, we're still living within the level. You see what I'm saying? So... So even though, for example, I I know that uh, race is a social construct and is bullshit, I'm talking about above the 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 construct. But within the construct where I ha where I have to live every day, I still gotta watch my back when I'm around certain people. You see what I'm saying? And so that's yeah, the, yeah, I get that's it. Because the thing. people treat you because you fit the description of what society needs. Right, is exactly, black. right. But but see, the All difference right, but, is but, though you can't you can't compare race and sex because sex is actually or, or gender whatever it is is still those are that's different you see what i'm saying like there's a difference like there's there's yeah yeah, yeah. because there's right. more differences between male and female right than between black and white. exactly right you see what i'm saying and and so yeah. and so what's interesting is how they flipped it they try to make it seem as if there's the same there's so much similar shit between male and female and so much difference between black and white. You see how they flip the whole fucking shit? You see what I'm saying? And and it's the it's the other way around. So they're trying to make it seem as if, oh, men and women, we're just a hundred percent equal. No, we're not. But but then and then they want to say, well, blacks and whites are a hundred percent different. No, we're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing. You see what I mean? Well, I I, I feel like, the, and I'm gonna answer what you said a, a little bit earlier. I feel like um, people are trying to say male and female are the same, and we're going towards the generation that's saying black and whites are the same, and there there isn't a difference. Mm -hmm. And I I think there will be people in the future, mm -hmm. a lot, a growing community who's going to say they're transracial. Right, I, right, I, right. I think I <laughs> think probably that's will. going to happen. <laughs> I probably will. I, but, I wouldn't be shocked. But my thing, my, my thing to you is: there any biological difference between white people and black people? I think the biological difference would just be basically the the fucking like you know um, difference in appearance. You know what I'm saying? Because as far but, as but there, so you don't think the the melanin, the being able to handle the suntan, the hair texture, mm -hmm. how, how we physically look. It's different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying those things are different. What I'm saying is that there's no difference technically in behavior, though. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah but, but it doesn't. But, but the thing is, like, things doesn't have to be behaviorally mm. different for mm. it to not be a construct. Oh yeah, but that's what. But that's what I'm saying. Difference. But what I'm saying is, is that usually when we talk about race, we're talking about differences in. We're not talking about differences and oh well you're you know you're white and you're black and you're Asian so the difference is is that you know you have this hair and I have that hair yeah we know that but usually what happens is is that when we talk about um um you know race it's like oh well you're black so most likely you're a criminal and you know how to to dance and you like hip hop and you're Asian so you must be good at math and this you see what I'm saying like that type yeah, of yeah I, I, I get that <laughs> you see what yeah, I'm yeah, saying that, like, that's a socially constructed thing. Right. But yeah, there's a social so construct, mm. but there's also a biological. Mm. Because it's like, I'm, I'm like a shade or two lighter than you. Mm. But people see me, they're like, you are black. Mm. But my skin color is different. Mm. And the, the girl, the, the white girl I'm dating now, her skin color is different. Mm. You know, so it's just like, and I'm going to get back to that. It's just like with women uh, and men, mm. you know, 
they say women are supposed to cook and clean. Mm -hmm. And they say that is not a construct. Mm -hmm. And some people say that is a construct. I think it is a construct. That, so that women, female, that you're saying that women say, should, you say yeah. that women should cook and clean is a construct? It's like a socially uh, programmed construct? Yeah, it's social construct, like it's not genetic. Well, yeah, that's, well, well, basically it is, but what you gotta understand is, is that it's not about the cooking and cleaning. It's about what's, the, the social construct is the cooking and cleaning. The, the actual, um, na natural, you know, uh, the nature part of it, the biological part of it is that, that they got breasts and they could give birth. Right. So that's and the biological difference. Right. So that's the difference in the sex. So right. There, right. There so, is, so even you gave a, a socially constructed name mm -hmm. and along with that name filed a social construct, there mm -hmm. is a biological difference in gender, mm -hmm. but the same thing with race, like you may have given different social constructs that is associated with that name and that name may have been given to this race of human beings mm. but this race of human beings has a biological difference no but that but it, that's that what i'm saying there is, wasn't like socially constructed no no but it's what i'm saying is the thing is is that it's not necessarily because when we go back to the woman cooking and cleaning that is a social construct of this this yeah, thing yeah. you're hold on wait this thing you're doing is a social thing it's, it's a constructed thing in our society Right. So yeah. what you got to understand is, is that it's not about the cooking and cleaning. It's about the service. It's about the submission to the man. You see what I'm saying? So that could be anything. It could be her doing some other shit that's not cooking and cleaning, but it's still in service to the to the man. So the, con the, the, the actual thing she's doing is a socially constructed thing. But actually what's happening is her being of service to that man and being submissive to that man is natural. And, and that's her biology. You see what I'm saying? And so and so men have their own thing going on on the opposite side. But when it comes to a man and another man who one is black or one is white or one is, you know, uh, Asian or one is black or whatever, they're still both men. You see what I'm saying? And so because one is white or one is black doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to have different behaviors the same way a man is going to have a different behavior than a woman. That's what I'm trying to say. You see what I mean? Uh, okay. So that's okay. that's what I'm saying. I, I think is, we're going so, to have to agree to disagree. So that's what because that's what I'm saying. Like so, uh, what my thing? No, no. But my thing is this: what 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 differences do you see in behavior between? Well, well, I I I, I just think that they don't have to be just difference in behavior mm -hmm. for there to be not socially construct. I, I feel mm -hmm. like there are biological differences in white people mm. and in black people. No, no, I, and I, no, I agree with you. I agree that there's biological differences as far as the look, the texture, all those things. I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, behavioral, yeah, I, I say it's socially different, but it's like, uh, uh, I, I, I can't say I'm white. Mm. In a nutshell, I just can't say I'm white. Mm. You can't say you're white. You could but I think you'll be wrong. No, 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 and that's what I'm saying because we're and white. again and again what I'm saying any is other race than black. Right, and we're but we're again we're talking we're talking about the actual social construct. You see what I'm saying? Because remember, thousands of years ago there was no nobody was calling anyone black or white. You see what I'm saying? Nobody yeah, was talking that. about that. that. Right. I get that. So so even though there's differences in the way we look, we've put on the construct, and now the construct. But, took but can on, you say you are white? What's that can again? You say you are a white man. Say that again. Can you say you are a white man? No, of course not, because I'll be wrong in the social construct of what a white person is and a black person is. You see what I'm saying? So if we're talking uh, about, do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is yeah, this. I understand. What I'm saying is this is that there's again there's two levels. You see what I mean? So okay. first level is society. When we're talking about race and race, so what I'm saying is. The race, race is a social construct and through race, you get racism. You see what I'm saying? And then what happens is because there is the construct of race, you're going to have that racism that is born through that. That's, and so that's a social construct. This is what society has, uh, uh, you know, um, created. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying though, is okay. that after all of that, right, they're actually, b besides the, 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 the cosmetic, you feel what I'm saying? There yeah. isn't really that much of a difference between a white man 
and a black man. That's all I'm saying. But there Outside is a difference. Of construction. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. So there, there's not a lot, but there is. Mm-hmm. To me, one in itself breaks the difference. Like, like what do you one mean? One difference. Like what do you mean? <laughs> so if it's so if, so if it's if it's on if it's just skin color alone, mm-hmm. that's the non-socially constructed difference. Mm-hmm. Then therefore, there that this assigned name for this assigned group of human beings mm. is, is overall not a social construct. Like, mm. everything that follows, like, mm. if dark skin is, like, everybody who's dark skin is named black, mm. then these people are blacks. Mm. And everything that runs with the name is the social construct. Mm. But black within itself, being a black person, mm. because I... It means that, yeah, you are black, you're not white, mm. you're a Negro, mm. you're whatever they want to name in another country, this is what you are. Mm. Like, you're, you're not white. Mm. That one difference, your, your skin tone, that one difference, make mm. you a, what, what you are not, you mm. know, make you what you are. Because I feel like with this belief of race being such a socialist contra mm. starts this trans community of, hey, with transracial and it, it, to, to me it's a slippery sliding slope mm. into that direction no but see so but see like, and, and, and i see and i see exactly where you're getting at and, and this is the this is the ironic part about that is that you know the 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 whole thing of like being on this transracial stuff right is that the whole concept of what race is was bullshit to begin with in the first place but the concept of sex Right. That's what they're trying to say. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're all the same and all of that other crazy stuff. That's the actual difference. You see what I'm saying? Is, is, that's all I'm saying. I feel you. I feel that's you, all I'm saying. A slippery sliding slope. Right. So, so that's all I'm saying. I, I, I want to send you on your Facebook mm. this video of this dude that believed that age mm. is a social construct. Age? And it age. It's a social construct. Mm-hmm. And he's like 40-something or 50-something. Mm-hmm. But he believes he's like 12. <laughs> but then that makes has... no sense because he's still t- doing age. It's like stupid. But see, that's, this, this, is what, yeah. this, is what, this is what people got to understand overall at the end of the day. At the end of the day is this. You feel what I'm saying? Is that most of the shit that, that uh, we talk about or, or fucking engage in and all this other stuff is bullshit anyway. You feel what I'm saying? Like when you when you wake up to all the nonsense, you realize that a lot of it is bullshit. You see what I'm saying? And so most of what we argue about, what we do, the things that we that we uh, 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 you know engage in, is mostly social constructs. And our behavior is a lot of times when we talk about behavior. Excuse me. A lot of times our behavior is uh, uh, you know is is like fucking influenced by social constructs. You see what I'm saying? So it's all yeah. encompassed in that shit. It's, so the thing is, when you drop all of that, all of that type of stuff, you start to fall back and say, okay, what's really going on here? And and a lot of times, what you find out is that in nature, in the, in the natural world, right? It's it basically explains all of the type of stuff that that people are having questions about. It's just that we're so we're so caught up in the social construct that we don't really see what's actually going on overall. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's deep in our culture. Right, and, and, right. and, see, and, see, culture. and, see, and see, there's other things that go beyond. So this, again, like I said, the two levels. You got the societal shit and beyond the societal shit. And beyond the societal shit, if we want to get even deeper, when we talk about ego and we talk about um, fucking connection through people in general, right? We're all actually just fucking one one fucking thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like there's there's no separation. The separation is the part that makes us think that we're different. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That's what that's where the whole okay. racism and all that shit comes in because it's the separation of us thinking and believing we're actually that different. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I I, I get it. I get because a lot of things is just culturally de- derived. Right. So and and, we're, and we, we've been but divided think, and separated and all that other shit. We as a society mm-hmm. should have some level of standard 
mm. before shit just get really crazy. Because mm. right now we're in a stage where to our elders we're freaking crazy, <laughs> but the next generation right. is gonna take it even further. Right, you right. Know? Because um, I, I yeah, you you already know. No, I feel the, you, bro. The, I the, feel the you. Feminist social justice warrior. No, I feel you. That shit crazy, but I, I just think there should be somewhat of a standard. Right, right. And, and once we once we make everything subjective, it'd be like, whoa, mm. we're heading into this danger zone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, I see what you're saying, though. I, I and I definitely see what you're saying. You know what I mean? So, so trust me, I, I trust and believe. I see exactly where where you're you're uh, you're coming from and where where it's going and all that other shit. You know what I mean? But you know, it's. It's just, you know, different, people have different, like, uh, you know, like, ways of looking at it or levels of, of understanding certain things or whatever. So, you know, it is it is what it is, man. But, yo, I got I to gotta actually head up out of here. <laughs> I'm about to, oh, okay. but, yo, I appreciate the yeah, call, I bro. I get to ask you a question about pussy. Man. Oh, see, you went, you went all the time about all the <laughs> You have to call back I'm next week, bro. About- <laughs> we'll kill Dolo and all that shit. Exactly. That's what I'm we saying. Get, like... No That's what I'm saying. About nah, it's all good though, because you know sometimes it's good to you know just to keep it keep to keep the conversation going. But yo, man, I appreciate the call. Let me get up. Okay. I gotta head up out of here, man. I'm hollering you, bro. Right? All right, peace. All right, all right, people. It's about that time. I gotta run the fuck out of here, man. Let me shout out all the people in the chat room. Shout out to uh, SW247, the Jordizi, my dude K Zagging in the building. Um, who else is up in here? Shelton Young, thanks for calling in. Who else is up in here? Uh, Jorlen Myron, Elliot Morris. Um, who else? T. Williams, Ross Goldberg, Chizzy City, Lorenzo Davis, Jermaine Jones, Active LA, Mike23. Uh, Bowlegs, Surlot, Joe Blast, Razor Ramon, uh, who else? Romy Riley, who else is up in here? Trap Lord was in the building, T.555, um, who else? Man, let me see who else is up in here. But yeah, make sure you guys remember, get this book, How to Have Sex 2 in a Day ebook hard copy audio book make sure you get all that um and join the bad boy membership i'm telling you guys you're not going to want to miss this next bad boy membership program okay because i'm talking about how to do how to do the same day lays man i'm so excited about this i can't wait for y'all to see this shit i'm gonna put out probably a little a little clip of it next week so you guys can see it all right so you guys have a good evening i will talk to you later and remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone